What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles U channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. Today we're playing, um, we're called the Snoozy Boys, as the creators called it. Uh, made top 64 out of Liverpool with it. And uh, they said it was the funnest way to play a regional by far. Uh, creators name is Yo and Shamrock 2K, 2K9. Shamrock 2009, I guess. Uh, played. This deck was on stream against Lugia and actually got the win with the deck. And uh, what we're trying today is we're going to use Snorlax Thumping Snore. We're going to try to, you know, Thumping Snore, do 180 damage. Uh, this Pokemon is now asleep. During your Pokemon checkout, flip two coins instead of one. If either of them tells, this Pokemon is still asleep. If you do have unfazed fat, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Done to this Pokemon? Okay. Whatever, you know, it's there. And how are you going to power up the Well, Snorlax only needs three energies, so you can attach each win plus a grass energy. But if you're trying to attack on the same turn, you have Cheerum. And Cheerum says, as often you like during your turn, you may attach a grass energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. Once you have Cheerum out, you just attach all the grass energy straight to Snorlax, and Snorlax can thump a snore. And a single price Pokemon doing 180 and 180 and 180 and 180 and 180 is very scary. And so that's what we're going to try to do today. Uh, like I said, uh, they did make top 64. Congratulations. And I'm going to play the deck. Jury Peons for me, of course. Uh, we have one Manaphy to protect, protect your bench, uh, just in case, you know. You, they don't mind that are taking multiple prize cards. We have one Puky Muku to help draw cards. And we have one Greninja to help draw cards. And basically, if your deck's not drawing your cards, you're in trouble, as they said. Uh, two low balls, search for one 9 HP. And this is also like me, like, looking at they have this crazy um their layout is like z z z like sleeping like z z z you know like sleepy like the sleepy uh, snoozy boys uh so it's very hard to like trying to gather the list i think this is a perfect 60 that they posted um two level search pokemon 9 hp or less you have one ordinary to get back two pokemon two basic energies or both four quick ball to find your basics two scoop of nut to reset the snorlax if need be but snorlax most times get knocked out so that's why it's not too big of a deal uh, three switch cards. Switch your active one of your bench. Switch your basic Pokemon with one of your bench. If you do heal 30, I don't think you're going to heal anything. I think you're just trying to get out of the snooze. Four trekking shoes so we can draw cards. Uh, two training court. You get basic energy already just upon your hand. Two bird keeper. Switch your active one of your bench and draw three. Two Claire. Claire is going to let you put two Pokemon from Discord back in your hand. Or uh, two basic energies from Discord back in your hand. Or both. So once again, we're, tr we're trying to get you know all Pokemon. Uh, we're using them over and over again. Marty for a little disruption. Professor's research, discard your hand, draw seven. Once again, we're just drawing cards. Serenity for a boss effect, or once again, draw cards. Uh, three choice spells, so you do 210 damage, which do, does help hit some numbers because some people are like 190, 200. So that's really good. 420 energy, okay. Uh, so it counts two energies when it's not attached to a V or GX. And 10 grass energies. Like I said, I believe this list is correct. Um, yeah, I think it's correct. The list is like a ZZZ, so it's very hard to see. Uh, but yeah, the point of that is you build a Cherim, build a Snorlax, and you just go crazy. So let's play Snorlax Cherim. I'm sure by the time this is posted, somebody has already like made this full 60 and like posted it somewhere. But today, we are looking at the, at the layout, and it's crazy. I like their V-Star marker. It is a Venusaur Spear Link that says V-Star on it. There's no, there's no V-Star Pokemon. You're not, you're not V-Star anybody, but I mean, it's cool. It's there. Uh, so yeah, it's showing that, you know what? There's still some, you know, creativity in this meta right now because like this may, this may day two, it may top 64. It is a deck to like really consider. Like it's not just like something for, a, it is memes, but it does show that creativity is still open, which is pretty cool. All right, so we start the Sharubi. Okay. Um. The only problem is I don't know who to like. Who are we trying to? Oh, get out of here, wheezing. Okay. Let's go trekking shoes first. Yeah, we'll put that in our hand. We're not going to be able to use our ability, which is like kind of scary. I 
I think I'm gonna hold off. They can't poison us, which is great. They can't poison us from locks, is what I meant to say. This is probably a really good matchup as long as they play hammers. Oh no, my switch guards. I probably should have just switched. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. So they get Ascension into the Weezing. Okay, there's a Moltres. Oh, they're weak to grass. You better get out of here. Get out of here. It's... Oh, wait, we're, we're not grass type. But we can one shot it. We can one shot it. It has 190. It has 220. Oh, it has 220. I thought it was 190 for a second. We can one shot the Crobat. They can't actually poison my Shruby either. So that's good. Uh, actually, Weezing shuts down all of that. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Because <laughs> Weezing shuts down abilities. Like, Weezing has neutralizing gas. Which makes sure would no Pokemon have abilities. Well. So this gets knocked out. We send up Snorlax North Sticks to knock out. Hmm. Interesting. Discard a dark pet. Seems like a really good card you want to keep. Drapion? Ooh, that does knock that out. Just saying. Can we have the Drapion? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. We do we do two tins of Drapion to knock it out if we need to. Okay. So they take a knockout here with, with severe poison. They haven't played a support card yet, so hold on, just wait. So So Sereni discard two. Discards a Roxanne and a Raihan. Interesting. There's another Weezing. Yeah, I forget that Weezing shuts down all effects. So, like, the poison, like... <laughs> uh. Yep. So, it goes out of five. You think they might clear by VMAX? Probably. I'm going to tax per turn here, so I have the free retreat if need be. Um... I mean, maybe? You never know. Hmm. That's not good. So we get that down. These don't matter. This doesn't matter. Well, Thumping Storm for the knockout, for sure. Go down to five. There's a grass energy. You have a two retreat cost. Okay. Do they play Kerbat VMAX? That's what I'm wondering. Right now, Kerbat only does 70. It doesn't poison me. So they will have to three shot it with the Crobat. And the thing is, they leave the Crobat in the active. We get then ready Greninja to draw cards. So yeah, it's a very interesting move. I mean, they can they have free retreat with the Crobat either way. Standard Jail and Weezing. I mean, I feel like you retreat to the Weezing, right? Oh, Marnie. No, maybe we should put on the Greninja. Hmm. Uh, 
Yo, paralyzing me, bro. Hmm. So they're not going to get knockout this turn. Um, no matter what. So like, I can put a grass on cheer and research. Hope to hit the switch cart. I think that's what we're going to do here. Unless we wake up, then we're golden. What's my opponent going to do here? Set up the we I think you have to set up wheezing, right? You definitely set up the wheezing. Yeah, there you go. Because he still have our switch card to the deck, which is good. That Professor's Rowan looks so serious. Mm. All right, so they swing for 40. What's my opponent contemplating right now, I wonder? Um, we definitely just going to grass research. Hope to find the switch card. Switch card, knock out wheezing. There we go. All right. Oh, okay, on our turn. Uh, the Serene top deck. Does that do anything for me? No. See, I'm just gonna research. I'm just gonna research trying to find a switch card. Okay, we didn't find it. I think I am gonna grab Greninja. Uh, okay. Still asleep. We're still chilling. Hey, there's Kirby at Emax. So what they could do is stealth poison and switch into uh, the back end of Weezy for knockout, but they don't have the hiding energy on this. They have the hiding energy on this guy. So do they have another hiding energy is the question. I'm trying to decide if I want a Serene neck this turn. Oh, there's the hiding. Ah, okay. So they're gonna knock out here. Send back up the wheezing. Yeah, let's set up Snorlax and see what happens. Uh, you're not useful. What do we do here, guys? Like, attach per turn. Serene. Discard this. It's not what we wanted to see, okay? It's not what we wanted to see. So Stealth Poison still has to three shot us unless they go for Severe Poison this turn. I think Severe Poison is probably the better play. They could be a power of that Drapion up. They have three Dark Patches gone. One, two, three, four, five, 
six dark energies. Hmm. And I want to put down the training core because then they can find the dark energies. Well, they only get find one right now. So that's going to paralyze me and poison. I think I would have went with the stealth poison instead. If I'm being honest. Okay. Yes, alrighty. Perfect. So now this does not meet Nestor. Well, unless they take a dark energy, they get max cut of me. Pukey Mukey, okay. State, we're still sleeping. Do they have a dark energy in hand? Get rid of all their wheezings, which is great. Oh, they got rid of two wheezings. Could have another one. There, they could, they could, they could, they could. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're a discard of dark. Interesting. Okay, just stealth poison. So we can switch card scooping at the Greninja. Oh, they're gonna send in their own Greninja. Okay. So I'm gonna Clara to do both. Get back the grass energies. Go Snorlax, Spring Bloom. Scoop of Net, the Greninja to send up the, uh, how much HP do you have of 70? I think I'm gonna spin up for this Snorlax. Pukey Mukey, Pitcher Pukey Mukey. We get concealed cards. We put down the other Sharubi just in case. And we'll thumping snore for knock. I go down to three. Okay. How many Serenis have we played? Two. Uh there's three in the list. If we could two shot this, that's our game plan. Take my last three price cards. Right? Yeah, that's my game plan. They've only played one Marnie so far, which is good for them. Curbet V. Okay, they can draw three with that. Another Curbet V Max. Okay. Like I said, as soon as I put down the training court, though, they're going to start being able to use, um, get their dark energies back. So I want to hold up with training court as long as possible. Hello, Zora. She said, I've been sleeping all day, Dad. Yes, you have. So they're going to swing with actually stealth poison for the knockout. Who do they promote here? Probably the Drapion? I mean, I don't think you sent it this Crobat or this Crobat because this Crobat gets knocked out by the Snorlax. Hmm. It's definitely interesting right now for opponent. What do they do here? So Step Poison does take a knockout, does do 70. But then who do you promote? The Drapion? So Dark Patch should the Drapion most likely.
And I got the the, the Shir, Shirubi just in case they like boss a Shirum and knock it out for some reason. So. And then with this Snorlax, this Snorlax, and the one I get from, from Claire will be enough for the game because we only need three left. If that makes sense. All right. So Big Bang Arm is what they could do here. Go down to three. We'll send up this. on our turn. We'll Clara. Get back two grass energies. We'll spring bloom one here. One here. Press done. Attach for turn. Go for thumping snore, which means their drapeon can't knock me out next turn. But this this crowbat can. Oh wait, wake up! Let's go. <coughs> That's pretty cool. So yeah, they could just swing the Drapion, which wouldn't take a knockout. There's four seal stone, which doesn't matter. They've already used their V Star power, which was the Hazard Star. They're down all four dark patches. And like, if they go for Stealth Poison here, who do they promote? Okay, that only brings it down to two. And we got this Serenity for game next turn. Hmm. That is our last Serenity. I'm scared of the Marnie me. I'll be in a bad situation. Yeah, I think we're just going to Thumping Snorlax for the knockout. Go down to one and see what happens. I could have maybe put the Snorlax, but I'm scared they'd boss it up. And I don't know. Maybe we should have just put it down. Let's go! <laughs> All right. So there's a grass. There's an attachment for turn. Do they have a Marnie? They play two Marnie, one Roxanne. If not, we got Serenity for the Kerbat V for knockout. Unless they have the third Kerbat V Max. Galarian Moltres has made an appearance. Scoop it up, up. Okay, they said, you know, just kidding, I don't need that card. Are they trying to burn cards? And there's a research, and that is going to be game. I don't think there's a way they can win now. Unless they bench a third curb at VMAX. And if that's the case, I'm just going to Serenity up the curb at. At least one energy, though. Yeah, so you go Max Cutter for the knockout. Right? And then we go Serenity the curb at V for game. Let's go! Alrighty. That was a good game for us. That was a good game. Good game. Wheezing is oh, it's kind of threatening, but... Uh... Woo! Alright. Thumping snow for the game. <laughs> Alright. Let's play another game with this deck. Oh my goodness. Snorlax just snoozing away. Just sleeping, man. He's just, he's just living his best life. That wheezing, it's it's like kind of, it was kind of hard to play around, right? But we did it. Hun Red. Okay. 
Lost coin flip. Okay. Hey, remember, guys, it's got top 64 at the regionals. It's not like it's, not like it's uh, I mean, it's kind of meme-ish, but it's not meme-ish. You know what I mean? Okay. Lost box. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how this matchup goes. It's like, who whiffs a beat first? Yeah, we're definitely putting you down, buddy. <laughs> You're definitely going down this game. Okay. All right, so we're going to go Manaphy, Quick Ball, Sereni, grab a Shruby, and then start, like, go, just start shooing, right? I think it's a play. I think it's a play. Okay. Okay. And you know they see this too, and they, they might be thinking they're playing the mirror. Do I go for the Shruby or go for a second Snorlax? I think I'm gonna go for a second Snorlax. Do my game glitch? Not that I was about to. No. Hmm. Okay. All right, so now if they go for an escaper play, I could promote the Snorlax, Tash Twin, swing for knock on the cram. If they boss, they boss the Sharubi or this. Hmm. So there's Grin Ninja. Steel Energy. It makes me think we're playing against the Rayquaza build. Maybe? Orin Guru doing its thing. Doing some flyer selecting. Earth and Steel Zone. Okay. Another flyer selecting. It's fine. Yeah, because we're going to take the first knockout here, I think. And that should just pew, just shoot us off to the sunset. Because you sit at the cram, cram swings for 110. Sableye, psychic, okay. I think I'm trying to hold the hand. Uh, or do I go research? Yeah, I'll go research. Hmm, I could scoop up this, scoop it up. Make sure they can't take a knockout next turn. I think it's a fine play. How many switch cards? I'm down. Ooh, okay. All right. Got out of five. Twin energy for this guy. 
Let's go, bro. Okay, all right, that's what we needed. We take those small victories. Okay, three, four, five, six. So they need 10 for this guy. I'm hoping by the time that comes around, we have taken too many praise cards. Mm-hmm. Yo, the double heads, man. Let's go. So that's seven, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We got Marty and them next turn, too. Oh, there he is. He could take a knockout. But I think if we Marnie plus knockout with Snorlax, we might be okay. I knew it was our claws. We probably should have just held up metal energy. Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's see. Maybe, maybe they don't even have anything here. They're waiting. They're taking a second. There's a Mirage Gate. Okay. They've already attached a Sableye this turn. Did they have a second Mirage? Oh, no, they didn't. That was last turn. Oops. Yeah, they cram Sableye Psychic. That's what it was. Escape Rope. Um. I'd rather keep my attackers. I can set them to the chair if I need to. I don't know if the choice belt's needed or not. I don't know what V they're playing. I'm trying to see if I want to put down the Sharubi or not. Cause I got like manly power up a Snorlax. I don't know if we need this Ruby. Hmm. Fair enough. The problem now is like, what does my opponent do here? They could go for Sableye and start pinging bench Pokemon, but they can't ping the regular Snorlaxes. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what if, what if we just like didn't feed them enough Pokemon to take knockouts? So another Rayquaza, okay. Right on to the Rayquaza plus go for the thing. Then this this Norlax takes a knockout. Hmm. Mirage Gate to the Rayquaza. I think that's what we might do here. I think it's probably the best play, right? Goes down to four. Because I don't want to drop too many Pokemon and then Sableye can just win that way. Comes I don't know if the other Snorlax is in the deck either, which could be the bigger problem. How many of those things have they played? Two, there, three, ooh. 
Um, let's pitch a Puky Muku. Let's conceal cards. Let's go trekking shoes. Let's use Clara. Do both. Get back double Snorlax. Two grass energies. Dumping Snore for knockout. Go down to three. There's a bird keeper. Ooh, bird keeper could be really good too. So, I mean, they're down three of their Mirage Gates here, two Rayquaza, a bunch of energy. So what do they do here? And let's say they get the, the they get the, the they get the fourth Mirage Gate, right? And they take an Agar Plaza. Well then I go grass energy Snorlax. What do they do after that? Because like this is not gonna take enough price cards. Cram might be their out. But then I'm gonna one shot the Snorlax, which I think it's gonna win me the game. Okay. Unless the Pokemon V they have is like really strong and I can't one shot it and it takes back to back knockouts. Get a pretty close game though. Pretty close game, guys. They've only played one course experience. Get out of town. What are they gonna do here, guys? Says up a comfy. It's not looking good for an opponent. Cause that a bird keeper? Cause the deck plays like two bird keeper, right? Yeah, two bird keeper. We haven't played a. We played one so far. One switch card. Okay. So there's the rod to get back the Rayquazas. But like I said, they can only do this one time because they only have one Mirage Gate left. Then what do they do after that? Okay. Like, try to power up a Claws in three turns, hope I don't have a knockout? Hmm. Scooping at the Comfy. Okay. Another Comfy. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do here. Perfect, yeah. So, what we could have done next turn is, like, well, it depends on the sleep flips, too. Because, like, if we flip double heads, they were, like, we definitely have the win. But let's say we flip double tails, right? Or a tails. We could attach a grass into the bench. Bird Keeper plus Greninja. Took a knockout, got out of two. They still, whatever, did their thing. And then we know there's a switch card left, which would have got us to one. I don't know. We took down Lost Bucks. <laughs> a deck I thought was going to be really scary at first. But, I mean, what can they really do? I mean, the Sableye is, like, cute. Uh, they have Raikou, but we had our Mana Fee, so that's good. Oh, they have the regular Raikou V. Oh, I think instead of Earth and Seal Stone, they need to play the new Sky Stone. That could be a lot better with their Raikou V. Because then they could take, like, three price cards and it's, like, a Louie or something. That's what they should be doing. Um, instead of this, because that's like a that's an attack you're using. That's crazy. I guess everybody a hundred, and then like you can like Sableye or something. That's pretty interesting. But I think the other the new stone the new stone card is pretty good. So yeah, guys, there we go. There's Sleepy Boys. The games were grindy, pretty long. Uh, that Weezy game was definitely like very hard. Um, because we couldn't use any of our abilities, but we still did it. So guys, there we go. Have some fun. Or Snoozy Boys, not Sleepy Boys. I like Sleepy Boys better. Sleepy Boys. So yeah. Guys, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow for Way Back Wednesday. It's going to be a fun video. Alrighty.